when you first start getting tapes from other places, after years of reading wrestling magazines and growing up on Memphis wrestling, were there other places? Because I know you've said before that the WWF you found boring, I guess. You just did not get it at all, but you had been yeah, reading it, about him for years. Was there anywhere else like that? I mean, was the AWA the same thing? Yeah, well, it, yeah, except like I said, the promos, they, they let the guys go a little bit more. And that was, you know, and especially with the talent that, that, at that time. But all they ever put on TV was was squash matches from the studio. Every great, I don't know, number of months, you would see a tape from an arena in those days of something real quick because it was a title change or whatever, right? <clears throat> so it's not you didn't want to watch that talent wrestle each other. You just didn't want to watch the shit they were going to put on TV for free. And I, I, well, I wasn't going to go to fucking Minneapolis to buy a ticket. Um, so that that TV sucked. Central States Wrestling from Kansas City was not a barrel of fucking laughs either as a <laughs> show to watch. No, it wasn't. And there was, you know, stuff at, at that point in time, Los Angeles was pretty much done. Uh, San Francisco was not long for the world. <clears throat> uh, so uh, what I genu genuinely enjoyed, the ones that I could not wait to get, were Florida, Georgia, Mid-Atlantic, Mid-South. Because that was, that was the good wrestling television. Besides Memphis um, and Memphis uh, TV still holds special place in my heart because those fucking films from the Mid-South Coliseum just stand up so much better as just uh, anyway. Uh, but those were the ones I look forward to. And I just I scanned through the other shit to be a fucking completionist. And 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 Dallas at, at, at a later day, Dallas 1980 was fuck, especially at Fort Worth show was like having a goddamn you know, fucking hysterectomy or something. It was pain, <laughs> but the, the the syndicated Dallas show by eighty two or three or whatever it was, and the boys are getting over, and the free birds, and, and shit like that was you know must see stuff. So it just depended. When did you start getting mid south? I fuck, pretty much uh, eighty eighty one. Not on a regular basis, everything, but like Randy Hales, it lived in Jonesboro, and he could get the uh, the station from goddamn uh, Little Rock, I believe. So he sent me a bunch of them. And there were people that were trading a few of them back and forth. I have a whole set now of like everything TV, I think 1980 on or whatever. But but I had a bunch of it then because, you know, people were looking for it. I mean, Ted DiBiase and Paul Orndorff, tape from the Jackson Coliseum, for fuck's sake, in Mississippi, the house show, and they're fucking, they've gone 45 minutes, and they're just fucking blistering, and, you know, so that was shit you wanted to see. Not not so much, you know, fucking Jake the Milkman Milliman versus Jesse Ventura on AWA All-Star Wrestling. They have, when I say they, the WWE, and before that, the Watts family, they have every episode from at least December 81 on. You're saying you think you may have some of the TV from before then? Um, yep. I, is that unusual? I didn't, I thought everybody had everything these days. No, anything from 1980 is hard to find and anything before the end of 81 is pretty rare. Well, let me go back and find my Mid-South shelf. I'll have to move a couple thousand comic books, but I'll, <laughs> I'll report back to you. Did you ever get Portland back then? Um, sometimes once again, I got like, you know, th there was a guy in Michigan that would just uh, a two hour tape would be from 10 different territories, just whatever he thought was good shit. Right. Cause at the time blank VHS tapes, 25 bucks a piece. So you didn't just fucking mail out, you know, 10 of them to fucking people. But uh, then later on I got this. So I can't really tell when I've, I've got the complete stuff later on. I got the set that they saved from Buddy Rose's garage. And, and the guy cleaned the tapes up because Buddy Rose had one of those early so he could tape his own matches and the Portland TV show while he was out working. What, what was it the, the before VHS and beta, the, the year before the fucking cartridge type of thing? Oh, I thought he had helped beta. Me. I didn't realize it was something else. I think there I think it was beta, but I think there was also like the 1978 fucking cartridge version or something in there. Anyway, I, so I've seen that since then. But I, the Portland matches with the Sheep Herders and the fucking Piper and goddamn, uh, you know, the other guys that were involved in that big, long deal, that was good stuff. 